greetings and salutations. It is Sunday, February 15th, and per usual, I had no idea what I was going to talk about, and then, oh, it's a little sideways, there we go. Um, the hubby suggested that I talk about Valentine's Day, so I will tell you all what I did yesterday, because that's what I'm going to talk about. So, um, I woke up to someone telling me to wake up. <laughs> And I had breakfast in bed, which was pretty awesome. He made me hash browns and bacon, bacon. And there was tea and toast and strawberries. And it was really, really good. And then we spent yeah, a good hour or so just talking and cuddling in bed. And then we went and on the computers and we played some WoW because I had to do a video. And then we ran through Ice Crown 25 on our two horde guys the one horde that i have that's actually somewhat decently leveled and one of his that was amusing and you should talk about that one fight oh god okay so <laughs> we went through ice crown and for those of you who have never run ice crown um there's this one boss it's a dragon and you have to heal her it's the whole point of the fight the tank and the ad the tank and the dps all do the ads and the healers just have to heal like crazily heal the boss so we're doing this as a death knight and a hunter <laughs> but because we'd never run he'd, we neither of us had run the raid before um on these characters we couldn't do heroic until we had done regular and in order to finish regular and unlock croak you have to fight every boss so we had to do bandages <laughs> on this freaking dragon it took us I, I checked the timer through a dbm on how long it took us to finish the boss but it took us half an hour 27 minutes it took us to finish this damn boss what a word. the entire time we're like okay and in bandaging make sure you don't make sure the ads don't hit me or it's gonna stop or it's gonna like stop me from doing it make sure i don't have a debuff okay click and first aid's done kate now we have to wait a minute well we have to wait a minute so we're waiting and we kill the ads and we're just kind of sitting there like twiddling our thumbs and i'm like man this must be real love because i would not do this for anybody else so we're yeah we finish it was really it was relatively easy i'm like man lich king's gonna be a bit of a pain i bet no no lich king was easy and nothing i don't think will ever be as long and frustrating as that freaking dragon anyway so we hang on a while for a good few hours and then we went out for dinner and we went out for dinner to our favorite restaurant it was where we had our wedding reception and they had a valentine's day special and we didn't even know we were just like oh yeah let's book it for valentine's day but they actually had this like special so the restaurant that we go to it's called padmanati it is a asian fusion style restaurant i would guess that they would say it's 100 percent vegan and it's got ginger beef like again all vegan but it's got like ginger it's got like the ginger beef and like kung pao but it's also got curries and it's they're it's kind of indonesian but they incorporate a lot of other like types of stuff and it's really really good they had so the valentine's day special they had a tomato bisque i have never had them cook something like that wasn't asian related in my entire life so having this tomato bisque it was freaking amazing there were like herb croutons and the tomato bisque was so creamy and oh my god it was so good and then we had corn cakes which is on the regular menu and we had lemon prawns which were really really good i'd never ordered their lemon prawns before those were delicious and we each got fancy drinks. You got fancy drinks. We don't actually drink. Um, you got an iced coffee and I got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Oh my God, their hot chocolate is so good. Cause it's really hard to get hot chocolate anywhere else because it always has milk in it. And this one didn't. So it was really, really exciting. And uh, the starters, the, the entrees, you could choose between a veggie, like a deluxe thing and the ginger beef and the curry chicken so we got the two meat ones because they come with veggies so we didn't see the point in having veggies um and then we each got a chocolate mousse for dessert and it was so good we went in there we're, we're going on the car right so what are you gonna get i'm like oh i'm probably gonna get what i got last time because it's really really good it's called lohan chow mein and it's like chow mein but they use the really thick like shanghai noodles it's really good steve's like yeah i might get curry um because it's also really really good and then we go in and like yeah so just so you know we're doing a valentine's day special puts the thing down in front of us and we're like oh my god this looks amazing we should get this and it was so good and then we came home and we oh we have pepinotti for lunch there's leftovers there's leftovers oh i forgot all about that now i'm really excited um then we got home and we played this game on the ps3 called 
Ib and Ob. I'd never played it before. I, I tried, well, I tried playing it, but it didn't really work on single player. And basically, it's a puzzle game. And there isn't, there's kind of a score, but there isn't really a score. And uh, you have to constantly, like, flip upside down, have one person on top so that you can, like, kill stuff. Because if you're upside down, you can kill them. But if you're on the, or if you're, if you're on top, you can't kill them because they're attacking. But there's, like, this little bubble underneath. And so someone has to go upside down to hit the bubble so that they explode. And then they turn into, like, coins or points or whatever. And it was really fun. And we got, <laughs> the last one we did, we were sitting there for a good five minutes going, I cannot figure out this puzzle. What the heck? But we figured it out. And it was really fun. So it was good. So I'm hoping maybe we'll play some more tonight maybe because you're off tomorrow because it's family day um so yeah today we're gonna do what we did last sunday which was re actually surprisingly really fun um we're gonna watch episodes of dragon ball gt because i've never seen it and he's never seen the whole thing beginning to end um for those of you who are new to my videos i watched uh dragon ball for the first time and dragon ball z for the first time about a year ago we took a break in between the series. I was like, there's only so much anime I can watch in one stretch. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And Dragon Ball Z dragged on and on. Dragon Ball, I loved. It's absolutely my favorite anime that I've ever seen. I've seen a few now. So I actually, I really, really liked it. Um, but Dragon Ball Z was good. But it dragged on and on. Oh my god, the filler. So I told him when Kai comes out, which is like they, they, they're they redrawing it and they're redoing it, but they're taking out all the filler. So that it kind of lines up better with the manga. Um, I said, I'll watch it again, but I want to watch the English dub. Um, and the newest movie that came out, uh, Battle of Gods, was also really, really good. Anyway, so we're going to watch GT. And he, he went into this telling me, look, it's it's not technically canon. Um, and this is like, I'm, I'm huge into fan fiction. I read it more than I read actual books. Not so much now that all my books are unpacked, though. And uh, he's like, yeah, it's kind of, it's not exactly canon. It's like a, a what if kind of thing. He's like, I'm like, oh, so it's fan fiction. So I'm going into this thinking, okay, it's fan fiction. And I'm watching it. And I'm like, huh. I'm actually liking this. And if I tell myself in my head that it's fan fiction, I don't know why, but that makes it better. <laughs> so it's been really good. So we alternate a few episodes with unpacking. And uh, last time we did that, we got a lot of stuff done, which was really, really cool. So that was great. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, tomorrow we're going to Ikea because we have to get blinds because we have no blinds in our house which you know new house whatever I didn't really want to spend the like 15 grand on blinds I figured whatever we'll go to Ikea we'll get the cheap pull down blinds just because I don't really care what blinds look like I'll get the really nice curtainy stuff for like downstairs but for upstairs I'd like to not have to change in the bathroom <laughs> because there are windows on both sides and if I'm in the master bedroom people can see because there's constantly construction work going on um because it's an up-and-coming area so yeah that's the thing that we're buying tomorrow so i have to remember to measure the windows tomorrow or today before we go anyway but yeah that's it so wow i actually talked for like eight minutes that's amazing so that is it for today um so yeah i hope all of you people who are in relationships or not um just hope everyone had a wonderful valentine's day and if you didn't and you were alone you were kind of depressed about it just remember it's just today it's highly marketed but i don't know i enjoy it it's good fun and i get to go out for fancy dinner and dress up and see my husband dress up that was loud see my husband dress up and yeah it's an excuse to take a day off from everything else and just spend time together whatever i think it's fun anyway thank you for watching i hope you found that entertaining i don't know anyway um tomorrow we're going to be starting a new game so please leave me comments on tumblr on twitter on youtube comments just let me know what game i should try next and i the first one i read will be the one that i pick last time nobody picked one so i just went down through my list and picked the uh the game on my steam list that i hadn't the t first game on my steam list that i hadn't played yet so that was fun Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.